When people think about concussions, they think football. But it's much bigger than that. It starts with youth sports. We see concussion everywhere. Sports like soccer, field hockey, wrestling, men's women's basketball, the list goes on and on. One in five high school athletes will get a concussion. There's some awareness about a concussion, but they still don't get it. The concerns about head injuries are really about the mystery. Someone hurts their knee, their ankle, shoulder, very little mystery. Head injuries, 100% mystery. And you can be debilitated as you get older. So as a parent, it's scary. I mean, that's hugely scary. Education is paramount. For people to understand what causes concussions, here are some symptoms, here's what you need to look out for. Because if you don't have the tools to recognize, you know, what's going on with your body, then you're not gonna report it. With proper care, most concussions heal within 10 days. But the kids don't know that. The parents don't know that. And even the coaches don't know that. Three out of five high school kids don't report concussions because they don't understand. They don't know the facts. They can barely label it, let alone report it. But there is just a gaping hole when it comes to education around this subject. There's no place these kids turn right now that's going to make a difference that they'll remember the next time they're in the game. I received my first concussion. I was 15 years old. I've had two concussions throughout high school. I didn't really know it was a concussion. My head was kind of pounding. The lights were really bright. And tears kept kind of rolling from my face. I was dizzy. It was really hard for me to focus. I missed out on my first homecoming. I fell behind in school. I had virtually no uh, education about concussions. I didn't really know what I was supposed to do or how I was supposed to overcome it. When we don't really know what's going on, we don't take it that serious. It was obvious that existing concussion education was not working. So we went back to the drawing board. We spoke to academics, researchers, doctors, and then we went to the kids. Over the past two years, we've worked with college and high school students to build the most engaging curriculum possible. And what we discovered is that virtual reality offers an unprecedented opportunity to educate and engage youth on this topic. And that's why we designed Crash Course in VR to be a truly immersive experience unlike any educational curriculum out there. Crash Course is concussion education reimagined for today's generation. Thanks to seed funding from the Toby Stanford Concussion Collaborative, we've been able to kickstart production and our global initiative is now underway. Crash Course consists of four parts. A short interactive film puts the viewer on the field during a game and features Stanford football players, including All-American Bryce Love, sharing the latest medical knowledge about concussion prevention and treatment. Young people don't always know what a concussion looks and feels like. The Symptom Simulator will help them recognize the signs and symptoms of a concussion and empathize with anyone with this invisible injury. Using Stanford Medical School's cutting edge technology, the brain fly-through lets young people explore a real human brain and visualize its complexity. And finally, training secrets of sports heroes will leverage the trust and reputation of respected athletes to raise awareness about concussions and shift the conversation away from fear and silence towards knowledge and empowerment. We want this life-saving information to reach as many people as possible, so we're gonna give it away for free. Crash Course can reach you know, millions around the world. Who's got my back? I got your back! And I can't tell you how excited I am to see the impact it's gonna have on our community and with our kids. We gotta be able to solve this problem. For the first time, Crash Course is something that I truly believe will work.